<laughs> oh, don't worry. You'll be in there. <laughs> Guys, we got our freaking hood in. Papa T will be here any minute with this thing. He went over to the uh, inland station to pick this thing up. And would you believe it? The FedEx driver is actually a subscriber to the channel. His name is James. I won't say his last name, but super cool guy. I'd met him one time before. So that's really cool. Speaking of which, here comes Papa T. That is a really, really, really nice hood. Yeah, look at it, got the edges smooth. I know. Oh, it's even got the bolts. I was worried about that because I was missing some. This is why I like the HO fiber trends because it's got more of a, a bubble on the sides right here. Yeah. I like that. All that's going to help hopefully clear rather than it coming down real sharp right here. It's got a bug. So, you may end up needing that. So, this hood came from LMR. This is the HO Fiber Trends hood. So I have one on my 04 Cobra and absolutely loved it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and stick this thing on the car and see if it clears. Cross your fingers, guys, because if not, the intake's gonna have to come off the car. We're gonna have to do some modifications. So that's a light ass hood. Man, it is. That's crazy. You can see inside to see how much clearance we got. You can just stick your head in the back of this damn thing. Hell yeah, you can't ask for any better than that. So uh, we don't have to remove anything. No spacers, no nothing. Check it out, guys. On to something else. So I've got a little care package from Anderson Motorsports. Man, let me tell you something. Donnie B and the guys over there at Anderson are just top notch. I mean, they really are. They, they knew that I was having a little bit of a hard start with the Calypso and he was like, man, I want to send you something to help you out. He said, I'm not sure if it'll fix the problem, but I want to send it to you. Check this out. When I tell you that we have the best sponsors and the best community, I mean it. Brand spanking new MSD distributor with the TFI module. So we'll go ahead and pull this thing out here in just a second. So it's important that you know that Donnie B told me don't worry about saying anything. It doesn't matter. It's just for you. But I mean, I want you guys to know that's the type of stuff that you need to know about. Donnie didn't send this so that I could do a video on it and review it and all that. He sent this to help me out. And that's cool. So of course, I'm going to give him a shout out whether he wants it or not. So that being said, let's go ahead and pull this thing out and look at it. Just something about these billet MSD distributors are so damn pretty. So you guys know all about these. Um, they're just really good distributors. And um, we're gonna go ahead, pop this in the car, and I'll go over the steps that you have to take when you do that. Uh, with this car having a custom tune in it and having a holly, um, you have to set static timing. So I'll kinda go over that briefly for you guys. Is you don't change the distributor, like you don't, you don't put your timing on the distributor where you want the car to actually be. You just match it up with the computer. You can just pick a number. You can pick 10, 20, 25, 22, 19, 35. It doesn't matter. You reference that number and then the computer knows timing of the car. That way when the computer changes the timing in the computer, it changes it in the car correctly. All right, let me go ahead and get to this. All right, so we go in right here to static timing and then you just set it to whatever you want. So we'll go Go to 10 degrees just like that set okay now what i have to do is go out and verify that the distributor is correct the 
Something else that I recommend you do is once you pick, say, 10 degrees and it matches, go ahead and pick yourself another number, like 20 or 15, set it, and then verify that it's 15 or 20 or whatever number you pick, and you'll be good to go. What's that look like? Yep, that's it. We actually have the timing on the car set a degree low, uh, just because. All right. That's good. Until the car obviously you know sits for a while usually it takes about 10 to 20 minutes and then at that point uh, it became a little hard to start so so we'll see either way this needed to happen because the distributor that's that was in this car was old 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 I mean then, as a matter of fact I think that's the distributor that came out of the uh, convertible car <laughs> oh, yeah wow. the original motor that was in this one yeah watch this let's start the car back up I want to show them something you already know what I want to show them. yeah cold it'll sit here and have condensation on it so that's what a carburetor can do for you in a blow-through setup your IETs are actually going to be a lot cooler you can put your hand down here on this intake and it's pretty cool to the touch check it out 112 degrees is not bad for an intake and once you crack the throttle open everything really starts to cool down so I do want to show you the throttle response on the car now this isn't the fastest revving car you've ever heard. That's not the point. The point is if you pay attention to the transition, it's pretty seamless for the most part. No stumbles. I mean, I don't know what else to say. That's pretty good in my book. What do you think, Pop T? I think it's jam up. That was much needed in the Calypso for sure. Uh, now I really need to change the plugs out in this thing and also check out LMR if you want one of these hoods I think there's a couple left in stock. I'm actually a HO fiber trans kind of guy. I love these hoods I don't know at some point we'll paint this hood I mean hell we may do it later today or tomorrow or we may not But I know for now we're at least gonna go ahead and get it bolted on and I'll probably sneak in a little bit of footage at the end for you guys Just as a sneak peek before the next video. All right, I'm gonna wrap this one up and as always thanks for watching I know a lot of people don't like cow hoods, but guys, we gotta have it on this to clear everything. Uh, we probably could have gotten away with like a three inch cow, but you know, I wasn't sure and I wanted to be safe. So I like the look of a four inch. It'll look good once we get it painted. The car is absolutely filthy at the moment. the car not bad if I say so myself I like it sweet all right well that's it I'm gonna wrap this video up we finally got the hood on the clip so I'm happy about that we got the distributor in this thing so we should really be able to start driving and testing this car I'm excited about it, guys. I'm excited.